Good evening, and welcome to our third episode of Thomas Sneed. I'm your host, Ashley Thomas. And I am your co-host, Meredith Sneed. And today's episode is brought to you in part by Random Facts and Quotes. Speaking of such, Ms. Thomas, don't you have our first random fact of the day? I do, indeed. Let's hear it. Mm-hmm. Statistics show cotton candy, its original name was Fairy Fluff. <laughs> Fairy fluff. Mm-hmm. How about mm-hmm. that? Well, listen to this. Did you know that between the years of 1939 and 1942, there was an undersea post office at the Bahamas? You don't say. I don't know if it was some kind of secret governmental thing, but mm-hmm. can you imagine the letters arriving in your mailbox? It would be soaking wet. Ah, with our next fact. Statistics show Los Angeles' full name is El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora La Riana de Los Angeles de Porcanucla and can be abbreviated to 3.63% of its size, L.A. What up, L.A. Hoot Hoot? That would be Lower Ashboro, Los Angeles, I just said that. And language arts. And language arts and Lower Ashboro. <laughs> about that? Guess what I found out? If you yelled for eight years, seven months, six days, you would have produced enough sound energy to heat up a cup of coffee. (laughs) What's wrong with you? You're scared of me. Are you for real crying (laughs) in the middle of our show? You've got to be kidding me. Get over here. Well, you know what? for being so emotional. But speaking of emotions, we continued our poetry unit this week. We did indeed. And emotions are our theme. They are indeed. We've seen some happy campers this week. Mm-hmm. And we've seen some angry little birds as well. We have. We've also seen some wonderful poetry from you guys. We have. And we want it to keep coming. Keep, keep bringing them coming. in, folks. The good poetry, it still rocks. So what we wanted to do this week was do a little experiment with how people felt and what kind of emotions are happening right here in, in our Cougar Town. In our community of Cougar Town. So tell us about that, Miss Thomas. We interviewed our teachers high and low in the community and found some pretty interesting folks and pretty interesting emotions. Would you say that we have some big time emotions going on? I think we do indeed. Which it, which which brings us back to the fact that everyone is different. They are indeed. And everyone has different emotions. Mm-hmm. But one emotion connects us all. And that is love. 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 Love of the world. So, before we get to these interviews out on location, why don't you go ahead and finish out with our quote for the day? Our quote of the day. Okay. Get it together. Okay. <clears throat> we can do it. Our quote of the day is, 80% of our life is emotion. And only 20% is in intellect. I am much more interested in how you feel than how you think. I can change how you think. But how you feel is something deeper and stronger. And it's something that's inside you. Frank Lawrence. Thank you for tuning in to this Thomas Sneed Show, Episode 3. Tune in next week. Same time. Same place. Goodbye. And folks, we are live here at 604 Cougar Town with Miss Keeter. Miss Keeter, could you please tell the folks out there how you're feeling today? Very expressive. 
And now, Miss Teeter, what exactly do you mean by expressive? Well, let me tell you, I just love my students. I was so excited today with what they're doing with their project they're working on. They're working on a planet booklet where they write songs and poems using facts from Cornell notes that we have gathered for two weeks about their planets. Some of them are going to sing, and some of them are going to read their poems. Also, I feel very expressive because it, and excited because we are having our field trip in less than two weeks, and they're going to have a blast. My, how expressive that was. Did I hear you mention something about songs and poems? Yes, we are incorporating and integrating language arts into my science class. So I'm really excited, and so are the kids who are working like little buzzing bees. So see, you can connect language arts with science and have fun all at the same time. Right, Miss Keeter? Yes, and they're having a great time. And we want to thank Miss Keeter for sharing with us today. Lovely expression. Thank you. <laughs> this is Miss Thomas here, and this goes out to you, Miss Keeter, and your expressive self. This is a poem slash rap slash song by Mr. Dooley entitled Planet. Just give me just a second. Falling like the earth, falling like all eight planets, Mercury, Venus, and Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. They all move around the sun, and some of those believe they do have moons. Mercury's not one of those. It's the closest to the sun, second smallest planet that I know. Venus is in the second row. And then the third is Earth and Mars from, where my family's from. Joking though, where am I? Jupiter's number five, Saturn is number six, the ring is wrapped around it. Uranus, seven, Neptune, eight. You're able to memorize this in the test. You will ace everything about Earth, everything about space. At a sixth grade level, maybe seventh, maybe eighth. May take days to memorize everything that I say. But it's not a problem to listen, because I'm as fly as a plane. The plane, I'm uh, big ballin'. We're here at 601 Cougar Town to check in with Miss Shanks to see about her emotions. Miss Shanks, tell me, how are you feeling today? I'm very proud. And why would that be? Because my soccer team has gone undefeated this season. That means that you won every single game. Would that be correct? That's right. First place, no losses. Great. That's a wonderful, wonderful day for you. Back to the studio. Hello, Miss Shanks. This one's for you and you being so proud of your soccer team and their undefeated season. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm so sick. Um, in honor of your yep. soccer boy, okay. your soccer boys, we've had this song. We are going to sing this song for you called Waka Waka. Can you do it? I don't know. Are you sure? Do I have to help? Okay. Uh at Six Circle Three Cougar Town with Miss Cagle. Miss Cagle, could you please tell the folks out there how are you feeling today? Well, in honor of Pi Day, I am feeling rather round. Hint, hint. Do you get it? It's March the 14th. I think you're speaking of Pi Day. Am I right? You are so correct, Miss Sneed. Thank you for sharing your feelings with us today, Miss Cagle. You're very welcome. Back to you. Miss Cagle, this poem is dedicated to you and your roundness on Pi Day. Mm -hmm. How many numbers are really in Pi? 
If you pile them all up, it'll reach higher than the sky. The numbers have no order, hence why it is irrational. But the numbers are all the same, even international. People around the world know that 3.14 is pi. How come we use pi? Why, oh why? Pi is used to find circumference and area only. But in this world of numbers, pi is not so only. Everyone knows what pi is. So hopefully Miss Kegel will give you a pop quiz. March 14th is my favorite day for pi. But this poem is rational, so I'm ending. Bye bye. bye. We are here on the baseball field of Cougar Town with Mr. Hocamp, AKA Coach Hocamp the baseball coach. Mr. Hocamp, can you tell us, how are you feeling today? Well, you know, I had a pretty good day so far until I got out here and my baseball players decided to be whiny, complaining, and lax the day of school after a win. You know, I thought they'd be excited to be out here on a beautiful day, but they just really made me very angry today. And why is that exactly? Um, they're just being very lazy. They're complaining about it being too high. They want to take their shirts off. That's not how baseball players do it. So we have a game tomorrow. It's time to come ready to play. Coach Hocamp, how many do you want us to so, hit? That's how I feel today. Thank you, Mr. Hocamp. Back to you. <laughs> quite jovial. And why would that be? I am happy, full of excitement. It has been a fantastic day here at Swarms. It's a great day to be a cougar. Go Cougars! You heard it wow. here, guys. He's great, he's happy, he's wonderful. And go Cougars! Back to the studio. Hello, Mr. Harris. This one's for you and your jovial self. And since you're with us third and fourth period, we expect to see you dance. It's going to be dynamite. That's exactly <laughs> right. I came to stay, 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 stay. I hit the floor because that's my plans, 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 plans. I'm wearing all my favorite plans, 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 plans. Give me space for both my hands, 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 hands. hands. You, you, just it go on. Department of Cougar Town. We are going to check on Miss Jessup. Where is she now? Come with me. Let's find out. Miss Jessup. We can come in. Wow, now. What is going on in here? You saw it. Oh, and how are you feeling today? Overwhelmed. And why is why is that, Miss Jessup? There's just too many papers. Too many dodgeball teams. Just too much. It's just too much. You heard it here first, <sighs> folks. Overwhelmed in the guidance department. Back to you at the studio. Hi, Miss Jessup. It's Miss Snead here. And we just want you to know that we really feel bad about how overwhelmed and stressed you are. All those papers in your office. Ugh. 
I can't even imagine. I know you probably want to be on vacation right now. Maybe you could even use a wish right now. So I thought for you, we'd bring back a special guest, Pink Lemonade. Yo, Pink Lemonade! Pink Lemonade! Yo, Pink Lemonade! Okay, well forget Pink Lemonade, I'll just start it by myself. Join me as we interview Miss Marsh and her mood of today. Here she is now. Hello, Miss Marsh. How are you today? I'm sad. And why is that? I wanted beautiful, luscious hair like Miss Sneeze, and this is what I've got, and it's not working for me. <laughs> So back to you guys at the studio. Miss Marsh, we want you to know that we're really sorry that you had such a sad day. Yes, we are. But I wanted you to know that I feel your pain because every day when I come home, if you notice, it's the same for me. But I do have some advice. If all else fails, mm -hmm. remember, lather, rinse, repeat. Again, lather, rinse, repeat. repeat. Mm -hmm. This is for you. This is for you indeed. Tell me you blue skies be too gray. Tell me. 